The scale tool is essential in Illustrator, but did you realize that you can also use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to accomplish the same thing? This is actually a powerful method that uh, you really should use. Let's take a look at an example. So we have a square here, so let's select it. And you'll see that there's uh, the width and there's the height here. And in the middle here, there's an icon here to uh, constrain. So it, it's uh, proportional right now. So you can, if you want to change just uh, the width or the height, you can just uh, deselect that. You see it'd be a line through here, but we want to keep this proportional for right now. So we'll go back to that. So we'll just use the, the width. So what you can do, you can enter a value right here in this box. So you can change the actual, so let's say we want uh, this to be 80 pixels. We'll just type 80 and there we go. And you see that uh, the height is uh, changing accordingly. But what if we want this to be half the size? What you can do, you can enter a forward slash, which would be uh, dividing. And if you then uh, type uh, two, that will be half the size. So we press enter and voila, we get uh, the value 40. So now it's half the size. Undo this and we'll show our next thing here. So what if we want it to be uh, 125%? What we can do is just go star and we'll do 1.25, which is equal to 125%. We press enter and there we go. It now increased to 125%. We'll undo that. Now let's say we want to make this smaller but we want this to be just uh, 20 pixels smaller. We'll go minus and we'll type 20 PX for pixels, press enter, and there we go. It's, the value is now 60 pixels. We can do the same thing with plus. So if we wanna add, let's say we want this to be 100 pixels now total, and the current size is 80, we'll go plus 20 PX, and there we go. So currently this is in pixels, but what if you wanna use a different measurement? So let's say that you need to add uh, two centimeters to this. You can certainly do that. We'll go plus two and we'll go CM. And it just uh, converted. So it added those two centimeters, which is uh, 56.693. So notice too that it's actually changing the weight of the line on this when we're scaling. So you can see over here, it, it says 1.331. So our original here was, uh, we'll go back to 80, and you'll see that the weight is changing again. Why is that changing? That is because if you go into the scale tool, so this is connected to the scale tool. So if you go and click here, you'll see under options, it says scale corners, scale strokes, and effects. So this is the one. Having these checked will also affect what the method that you're using up here. So if we are unchecking these, we click OK. And notice now it says 1.064. So if I'm doubling the size now, if I go star and I'll type 2, enter. Notice now it says 1.064. The weight is staying the same. And that is because it's on now unchecked here. So if I check this again and I go half, so I'll go forward slash and I go two, so we'll go half to that size. Now it's changed the, the width of the, or the weight rather, of that stroke to be half as well. Another part of Illustrator where this is very handy is using rotation. So normally, you got this tool here with the rotation. In our case, we're gonna enter some values here. So let's, let's make an example here. So we got a circle, right? We're gonna move this up. We'll make a duplicate. We select both of them and we group these. 
So when we double click this, uh, the rotate tool, you got a value right here. Like now it's just showing a previous value that I had. A full circle is 360 degrees. So that's our starting point. So we go to 360, then we go forward slash, and that we can use to add any steps in between here now. So let's say we want uh, eight steps total. So we just uh, type eight, we go preview, and you see that it's actually moving 45 degrees. So that's 360 divided by eight. So let's say, well, that's too much. Okay, we want 12 steps instead. So we go back to 360, and we go forward slash, and we go 12. We go there, and we got now 30 degrees. Click uh, copy, and we got the center is right in between these. So it's uh, moving 30 degrees. So we go Command D on Mac or Control D on PC to uh, duplicate this yet again. So we get another step, another step, another step, and now we got a complete circle here. So a total of 12 steps, just like we uh, requested. You can do any step in between here. So let's say you wanted to do 14, well you can do that. Illustrator would just uh, calculate the how many degrees that you need for that. So this is very handy to make uh, certain graphics. So what's the third method that we can use? Well, we can use the type tool, create some text here. So right now you see that it's uh, 12 points. So we can do the same thing here for the, for the font. We can either use this box, or we can use this box in, under character. But let's use this. Let's say we want this to be uh, three times the size of what it is. Well, you can do the same thing. So we add star and three, so this is gonna turn into 36 points right now. So I press enter, and there you go, 36. So you can do the same thing for the points here. And you can use the same thing in other places. So for example, if you create a circle here, and you got uh, the weight of the stroke is uh, two points, well, you want that to be uh, four times the size. Well, sure, you can do that. You can do school star, and you add four, enter, and there you go, now it's uh, eight points. So what about the artboard? Can you do the same thing there? Yes, you can. We'll go to the artboard tool. We'll select this. And you see the width here. Well, let's say we, we want specifically that to be 10 inches. There we go. Now it's uh, 10 inches, which is then translated to 720 uh, pixels. Now, let's say we want that to be one third. Well, certainly we can do that. We just divide by three and there we go. So almost just about, uh, yeah, just about anywhere you can do this. Even on colors, you can do this. So in this case, you know, the circle is black. It's uh, CMYK. So the K is set to 100. What if we want that to be one third of that? Sure, we go forward slash and three. And there you go, now it's 33.33. Uh, so you can almost, anywhere in, in, uh, Illustri in Illustrator, you can do this on uh, any of these, uh, these boxes where you can you add, enter a value of any sort.